Welcome back, everyone. Bullying, something as a parent you hope will never happen to your child. But in this day and age, unfortunately, it's unavoidable for a lot of families. That's why we have Michelle Cardini from the organization called Mother's Awareness on School Age Kid, Kids, better known as MASK. And um, exciting, Michelle, because uh, over two years ago, you joined us here on the show when you were first launching the organization. It's certainly come a long way. And you guys are really an outreach program to families, to schools, to children, to to talk about something that often uh, sometimes parents tell you we just don't have time to talk about it exactly we just want to inform parents on the latest issues we were a group of moms who started the organization because we thought we were on top of everything with our kids you know doing all the right things and we found out that with the internet and anything today things change rapidly and we mm -hmm. couldn't keep up with the rapidly changing issues so why not start a pro uh, nonprofit organization to inform parents and kids. So we started doing that by having meetings at schools and after school in the evenings for parents. What we found was parents don't have time to go to another, another meeting. meeting. In our mm -hmm. time-deprived society, they don't have time. So three years later, we decided to launch a magazine which will inform parents. It's a quarterly publication. And uh, it's the first issue is all about bullying. It, it gets very in-depth on bullying. It tells parents what bullying looks like in middle school, elementary school, and high school, what it looks like, what it feels like, what to do if you think your, your child is being bullied or maybe your child is a bully. Does it apply bullying? When we talk about bullying and cyberbullying specifically, what age group does it start, Michelle? Early, oh, right? It starts early. So, you know, you have kids today that are getting on Facebook and mm -hmm. they're, even they're talking to their kids through their school internet access, mm -hmm. um, just chatting. And then they see maybe their older siblings doing Facebook and they start asking at a very young age. I'd say as young as seven or eight, you'll ask wow. kids, kids will start getting involved and wanting to do social media. So it's hard to limit your kids from doing it ever, but you can certainly teach them the dangers out there. Our goal is to create a dialogue between parents and children so that kids, when they do maybe find something a little risky online, that they would go to their parents and talk to them and say, something happened. And there's a story towards the end of the magazine that really brings it to light. Um, a, a, young name, a young boy named Jacob of Chandler, and his story is here at the end, who shares his story. He actually learned about Mask by seeing it right here on the air on Good Morning Arizona when we first featured your organization almost three years ago. Right. And he's, it's a very common situation, right? What, how, what is cyberbullying? Because, you know, obviously something, that, how, how do people bully each other online? Well, you know, usually it's because of the anonymous anonymous factor. People say things they would never say to somebody face to face. Oh. So Jacob was out there trying to do something good. He created an anti-bullying uh, website and he was out there on Facebook and MySpace trying to prevent bullying. And lo and behold, after several months and effort that he had put into this project, people started bullying him. Saying nasty things online. Nasty to him. things online. Wow. And you can see Jacob's story on our website. He actually talks about his whole thing. He also started getting harassed with phone calls 24 7 at his home. On his cell phone, people started calling his friends. They had access through social media to all these numbers and ways to get to him, and it was devastating. He was And Jacob spoke out, which is he great, spoke out. but a lot of kids will not speak out. They're embarrassed, they're scared right. to tell their parents. What are some of the warning signs that parents really need to look out for to think maybe there is some bullying going on with my child? Well, I think withdrawal, you know, the kids maybe, maybe they're, um, they want to be online a lot, or maybe all of a sudden they stop being online. Mm -hmm. Parents should look for those signs when their grades start decreasing, when they um, don't want to talk socially or, and, and such. And Jacob had a great situation where at first maybe it was he was worried about talking to his parents, but he did talk to his parents, and his parents worked him through a very difficult time, and it took him a long time to get through it. But today, he's back out there speaking on these subjects for us. Becoming a spokesperson and a face for you guys. Right. If folks would like to get a hold of Mask, how can they find this magazine or find out more about your organization? Well, it's available at Barnes & Noble okay. in Arizona, and it's also online at www.maskmatters.org. And the first 10 people who can find us on Facebook and write a comment on our wall will give a free issue of the Great. bullying magazine, the okay. bullying issue. Okay. Michelle, I know we could talk about this for so much longer, so thank you for uh, sharing us and keeping us up to date on what you guys are doing because obviously great things coming out of Mask. Great. Thank, thank you, you. Michelle.